Hi kids. Okay, next up is Diary of the Dead from 2007. This is the continuation of Romero's Dead series. Uh, so, uh, Land of the Dead made about $46.8 million box office off of a $19 million budget. During the production, uh, Romero started getting ideas uh, of what to do next with the zombies, how to utilize them to tell another story to address something he wanted to address uh that was sort of the new technology uh communication media uh, the internet blogs uh the ability that anybody had now to communicate directly to people uh so he wanted to focus on that he also wanted to bring the series back to its roots back to something like night of the living dead also, Land of the Dead, big production, uh, fairly big budget, uh, major studio behind it, which stars, uh, which means uh, more demands from more people, scale it back, uh, a lot more freedom of control uh, for Romero to really do what he wants, uh, not have to bow to anyone else's needs or demands. Uh, so he films this in sort of a cinema verite, found footage type style. Um, this budget is a lot smaller. It's uh, independently financed, but $2 million budget for this one, opposed to the 17 in the last film. Uh, filmed in and around Toronto again, uh, with primarily uh, Canadian crew and cast. The cast is mostly theater performers. Again, Romero likes those unknown faces on screen. And he sort of uh, sets this during the early days of the outbreak. Again, um, much like Night of the Living Dead. This is almost like a redo of Night of the Living Dead. Uh, characters and everything are not the same, but it's sort of uh, the updated version of how these events could, would play out it happened in 2007, uh, right? So it's film students. They're in the woods. They're making a horror film. And they stumble upon some living dead. Uh, eventually, they end up secluded in a house, a mansion. Uh, and they hide away instead of down in the basement. Uh, this time, there's an escape room. Um, and some uh, endings, similar callbacks. You if you will, uh, zombies hanging in trees, like uh, Night of the Living Dead. And then he begs the question at the end of the film, are we worth saving? And this is not the end of the Dead series. So uh, I don't know, do you like Diary of the Dead? Do you like it more than Land? Do you have a preference? Tell me what you think. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe.